Um, all right, so we got a couple points around subject lines, which is the primary thing that people determine whether or not they open your email, right? So if they don't have a good subject line, they're not going to open it, and they're going to read it, and it doesn't matter what you put in there if no one ever sees it. So we analyzed over 5 million email addresses, or emails, I should say, and, uh, and looked at what were some of the commonalities of subject lines that got more opens versus less opens. So what we found was generally the shorter subject lines did better. Um, it wasn't a huge difference, but subject lines with three or four words received the most responses. And you should always include a subject line. So if you forgot to include one, only 14% of people responded to emails with no subject line. So if you're crafting subject lines um, and, you know, obviously you want to fit whatever's relevant in your email into that subject line, but generally if you can do it in three or four words, people are going to be more likely to open and respond to your email. So... Yeah, just looking at that, I mean, uh, in terms of subject lines, you, you know, if you're not using a subject line, uh, you're cutting your, your open rate, your responses in, in half, if not in, in a third. So right. uh, absolutely, use, use a subject line, number one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So that's first and foremost. And I think we all know that, but, you know, sometimes you're thinking, well, how long does it need to be? And um, when you're optimizing, particularly for mobile, right, people are only going to be looking at that first three and four words. So pack it in, pack it in well, and people are going to be more likely to open your emails. So the second thing I'm gonna talk about is what should you include in your subject line? And so we just did some analysis on emails that get the most opens and what words were common in those emails. So um, words like opportunity, demo, connect, that type of thing tended to get more opens than words like join, assistant, confirm, and press. Um, I'll, I'll give just some, some data that we have from our personal experience too, from my personal experience, I should say. So we do a, a weekly webinar for all of our new customers that have downloaded Boomerang. And we just say, hey, if you want a little demo, I can give you some productivity tips. Um, but it's essentially just a webinar about Boomerang. And it's really short, and I email everyone that's downloaded Boomerang um, in the last week and just say, hey, I'm hosting this next Thursday. You can join us. So I've sent out that email thousands of times, you know, thousands of people. And uh, it used to say Boomerang webinar was the first two words. Um, and when this data came out, I was like, you know what? It really is a demo. It's not as much of a webinar. So what if I switch that? So I switched it to Boomerang demo. And our open rates jump 7%, and they've helped. So um, little things like that, um, you know, there's, there's things that happen with, uh, especially with Gmail and the additional filters at the top, messages getting sent to promotions um, or the social tab. Um, and so webinar actually wasn't the best word to use. So when I switched to demo, we started getting more opens and more people attending. So that's the first and primary thing is write subject lines, short ones, and use I, the best words that you can in those subject lines. 